with Fola Daniel, CEO Edible Pen, and I started by asking him how he thinks that Nigerians leverage technology in 2018. I think that we are taking very good advantage of it. So many people are beginning to move their businesses online. And gone are the days when people think that every business must have a physical location. So there are many Nigerians right now who have an online business. And the particular thing that Nigerians are leveraging on is e-commerce. Take a look at WhatsApp, see what people are doing on it. Right now, so many people are taking trainings on WhatsApp. So many people are selling on WhatsApp. There are so many people who are doing counseling. There are so many people who are doing uh, what you call trading on WhatsApp. Now, there are people who have e uh, stores, online stores, that they didn't even build from scratch. Somebody else pre-built the stores and they simply customized. So it's becoming so much easier and Nigerians are taking so much advantage of e-commerce. Can you share some innovation that you think impacted Nigerians greatly? When I started out with blogging, I simply wanted something that would publicize what I was doing. And over time, or over the years, somebody introduced me, a friend introduced me to WordPress, and I realized this is fantastic. I don't have to build a, a, a site myself. I didn't have to learn how to code. I didn't have to understand all the jargons, HTML and stuff like that. It's, it has templates. All you need to understand is how to edit those templates. So WordPress was fantastic for me when internet, social media and everything started. Google is also doing a very beautiful job with some of its learning platforms like the Digital Skills for Africa. That's amazing. Then I'm seeing stuff coming from what Andela is doing now in Africa, teaching young people how to code. But for me, the most fantastic is WordPress because it allows me to push my content out there. The apps, the notifications, social media and all the other distractions. Now, how do you think that we can enjoy all of this and still maintain high productivity levels. One of the things you have to do with social media is try and stay away from irrelevant groups. Because there was a time I, I was on some groups and I was getting over 300 notifications and the notifications were too many. So when people ask me, can we add you to this group? I say no. Sometimes they add me without asking, I just leave. So what you have to do is only stay on relevant groups. The noise is too much, it's distracting. And if you keep yourself on groups that you don't need anything from, you just realize that you're wasting so much time checking irrelevant information. What you should do is to only stay on groups that give you relevant information, groups that will tell you about apps that you can use from time to time, groups that will tell you information that is relevant to your industry. If those groups are not doing that for you, please don't, don't even bother. Now let's get to one topic that would interest a lot of young people particularly those that are unemployed. How do you think people can make money online? Two ways. The first way to make money online is to equip yourself to be able to use the several social networking platforms or to be able to create apps, to be able to create websites, especially because it's easier these days if you're using the CMS sites. So if you're able to create content or use any of those platforms, employers want to employ you because they need somebody to manage their social media platforms. They need somebody to create content for them online. So that's one of the first or easiest ways to make money. You are able to use the platform and people employ you. Then the second way to be able to make money is that you create your own content, upload it on the internet and drive traffic towards your content. If you're getting traffic for your content, then employers or advertisers will come asking you to let them place adverts on your content because you have the audience that they want to sell something to. So those are the two ways that you can quickly make money. You are a content creator and you are a versatile user of those platforms. Let's talk about small business owners. Uh, share with us some of the specific ways that you believe they can leverage technology to grow their business. The first way for small businesses to leverage technology is publicity. You can, if, you, if you start up a business with a physical location, what people used to do is the physical marketing. You go to the streets, you try to talk to people, but if you go online, technology you know, pushes you out there in a matter of hours. You don't have to wait for days or weeks or months for you to be known. 
you can be known in less than 24 hours. So you must leverage technology for publicity. The other thing is you can leverage technology for payments. You can leverage technology for distance. Before, you start a business and you can only render services to people within your location. But I've had people who enjoyed my services all the way from the United States. We've never seen ourselves. There are people who are in Port Harcourt who are my clients. We've never seen ourselves. There are people who are in Abuja and I'm doing businesses with them. We've never, somebody is in Ibadan and I'm in Lagos. We don't even see ourselves. So you must leverage technology because of the distance, because of the publicity that you can get in a very short time, and because of the ease of doing the business. Nobody wants to go into traffic for like three hours to come and conduct a business that you can conduct in less than 10 minutes. So when you go online, I can do this thing in five minutes over the internet. Sometimes people don't even want to come for a physical seminar that will take four hours when you can upload your content on the internet. So small businesses need to leverage thinking about publicity, thinking about convenience, thinking about the time of the clients. You give them more time to do other things. The money some people spend on office spaces and stuff, if they spend the same amount creating social media platforms, creating payment gateways and publicity, they will make much more. On social media, you're not selling to everybody, which, makes, which gives you more results. Offline, you're selling to as many people as you can find. You're talking to everybody. But when you're selling online, you're targeting. You're looking at interests. For example, when I target or when I help customers to promote stuff online, maybe products or services. We're looking for age brackets. We're looking for a particular gender. We're also looking for people in certain locations. But if you're offline, you really can't do that. However, when your business grows to a certain level and the income is guaranteed, people then begin to ask for locations. Some people want to see a store. It's then important, once you know that you can sustain payment for a physical location, then you need to go offline. And some people don't understand that. Online engagement is not enough. You can create the buzz online. If there is no offline engagement, you won't be able to sustain the buzz that you created. That's where people don't balance it up. So if somebody is making inquiry, you must be available offline. And that, this is one other thing you need to understand. Nigerians really haven't trusted social media and internet compared to people in America, in UK, in Europe generally. Why, why is that? It's because people think that if I'm giving somebody my money, I must see the person. So we, st we still have a bit of that attitude. That's why you still need that offline location. If, if the physical location is expensive, I'll tell people to try shared spaces and stuff like that, like co-working spaces. So you must have the online buzz, which is cheaper, and you should also have the offline engagement. Let me make you a profit for a moment. Uh, can you predict some of the innovation that you believe would make a lot of impact in 2019? E-commerce. E-commerce is going to gain more grounds. I expect to see more competitors for the dominant stores in Nigeria right now. And I think that more people are going to realize that they're spending so much on physical locations. So I, I expect to see more of e-commerce. And then I expect to see more of vlogs because people are no longer spending so much time reading texts. People are now spending more time, more time watching videos. Finally, some parents, guardians, and a few elderly folks think that young people waste time on the internet. What do you have to say about that? Okay, so I would say to them that if they understand the impact of social media, then they wouldn't say that they are wasting their time on social media. Social media already has impact on our lives and it's going to have bigger impact in the near future. Just yesterday I was comparing viewership, online viewership of videos and stuff compared to television viewership and the, the data keeps showing that more people are dependent on the internet, more people are making money on the internet. You can imagine the, um, the amount of money that people are making on the internet right now from e-commerce, from blogging, from vlogs. So they are not wasting their time. Maybe what they need to do is to ensure that they have a clear goal as to what they want to be doing online. It is true that social media can be distracting. So if you don't know what you want to do, if you don't have a focus, you can be there for several hours and you're not making any progress. However, if you are creating content, or you are consuming content for a given purpose, then social media is very, very useful and they are not wasting their time. That was Fola Daniel, CEO Edible Pen, who believes that you can leverage technology to make 2019 a better year. That's our show for today. 
But the conversation continues online. Please join us there. And don't forget, you can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via CFA blog.ng. For Tech Trends, I'm Chukameka Agbata.